Hi and welcome legends, hope you all had a fantastic weekend, let's crack on for this week. Are we finished with a Bitcoin correction or can we still expect lower prices to come? Today we will analyze the price of Bitcoin, look at some bigger structures from a corrective perspective, also looking at CVD and the heat map and also for my community only, go down in the description right now and you will see for my community only, I've had a conversation with Bybit where when you sign up today, you get a 20% reduction in your fees when you trade. Come trade with me, sign up today and also the more you deposit and trade, the closer you get to that 30 thousand dollar bonus up for grabs right let's get right into the price of bitcoin okay first up make sure that you have a daily level over here when you zoom into the daily you'll see we have a nice daily level over here we have a fresh weekly level that printed over the weekend a little bit further down also a fresh daily level and an all daily level down here at the bottom so as traders we do not know whether the price is going to go up or down all we can do is trade level to level observe the reaction at each level for that ultimate scalp or potentially a longer play to the upside or downside right let's get right into it just take the scribble here out the way the one thing i wanted to point out here is when you look i'm here on the 15 minute and when i look at this structure over here and i'm going to use the time for to explain the corrective structures if this is an impulse to the upside and this is a corrective structure where we expect more momentum here to the upside, as you can see, we've broken this trend. Is this a true breakout? I don't really see green volume kicking in here just as yet. Can we still have a deeper correction here to the downside or was this the end of the corrective structure where we can now expect impulsive waves back to the upside? Let's analyze the situation here together. Right, so looking at this structure over here, when I take a time fib, from the low to the top of the impulse, you will see, just leave it there, that the minimum requirement for a corrective structure after you had an impulse is by the 0 0.382, which we've just closed before, just, you know, just shy of closing the corrective structure, which we as traders consider a minimum target for a corrective structure to end. But nonetheless, could this now be impulses building here to the upside? Okay, so the one thing that I am keeping in mind and purely technical is to say that, well, this corrective structure didn't finish before the minimum requirement of the 0 0.382, okay? I would, ideally, you want to see the corrective structure end after or at the 0 0.382, preferably at the 0 0.618 and ideally at the 1 to 1 ratio. Okay, so we could still range here up and down until the corrective structure is come before we come and claim the ultimate high here again. Right, we also have to acknowledge that we do have insane bullish CVD against this pivot and where we ended the structure over here, of which the target is the high. But will this play out or will we be countered by bearish CVD on our way up and then get a rejection to the downside? Right, the one thing that I am looking at also is to say that, well, if we are not going to find the strength here to the upside, let's go look at a little bit of a larger time frame perspective. Right, zooming here onto the price of Bitcoin on the 8 hour time frame, here is exactly what I mean. You can see you have impulses to the upside and you have a nice correction. When you take a time fib also, you can see that when you measure the impulse to the top, you can see that the corrections typically finish here at the 1 to 1 ratio, but definitely after the 0 0.382. Okay, one example. Next example is you take this impulse, okay, from the start of the impulse to where it ended. I think it ended over there. And you can see we hit at least the 0 0.382. Right, now we take this impulse here to the upside, right, from the start. And this is potentially still part of the impulse here to the upside to where the top is. And you can see it still looks like we need a little bit more time to potentially finish this correction here to the downside, at least tapping the 0 0.382. Okay, if we do find strength, there's definitely a couple of scenarios that I'm watching here is to say that if we do find strength here to the upside, claiming the highs, we can still have a deeper correction here to the downside, potentially bouncing on this untapped home line that I've got over here. Okay, also another thing that I'm watching is to say that, let's just take all the scribble out, the time fibs out, is to say that, well, from this, from a larger time frame perspective, if this is the impulse and we are going to make a larger correction, it would look something where you take your time fib from the low to the high, let's say that is the local high for now, you ideally want to end your corrective structure at least by the 382, okay. A scenario that I am still keeping in mind is to say that, well, what if this is a complex WXY correction here to the downside, okay? And the basics of a WXY correction is, let's go back onto the four hour, 
and zoom in here a little bit is to say that well WXY consists of ABC corrective structures where you have A B C completing your W and potentially this is an A B C completing your X and a larger A B C to the downside bouncing here on the trend line to complete your corrective Y wave where we could then potentially see more continuation to the upside also claiming this low so definitely an area that I will be watching is to say that well we could potentially SFP from this low okay where you bounce on the trend you find acceptance back above this low over here and um, for continuation to the upside also taking CVD into consideration over here CVD let's go on to the one hour and just see what's happening over here we have to acknowledge just zooming in here onto the CVD right on the one hour you can see that we have some massive bullish CVD against this pivot and the recent low that we've just made looking at yellow tumbling down blue tumbling down of which the target is this high over here okay so translating this back into the price of Bitcoin is to say that well if the WXY scenario does not play out we can still go and claim the highs once again we can still go and claim the highs once again or then only the corrective structure to start to the downside right so it does kind of feel that the top is in here somewhere if this is not the top potentially we will make a top and then we will find a deeper a deeper healthier correction here to the downside it feels like Bitcoin needs to cool off everything is extremely hyped up the altcoins are exploding into a into the air so it would be nice to have a nice little cool off for Bitcoin at some stage right I also want to have a quick look at liquidity when you look at liquidity over here you can see we have insane liquidity here above these highs so perhaps is this the momentum that Bitcoin is going to build up to come and claim this liquidity first before we move to the downside and also as you can see if I start going here zoom out onto the monthly time frame you can also see that we have insane liquidity here to the downside round about the $50,000 level so could this correction if we do claim this high again this correction could take us down as low as $50,000 claiming all the liquidity below these lows okay interestingly enough even if we had to come and claim the liquidity below these lows so let's say the scenario plays out where we find strength here above we make a new look we make a new all-time high and then we find a deeper correction we claim this liquidity when I start zooming out onto the daily for example so on the daily time frame also want to take the brushes here out the way is to say that well if this scenario plays out where we've now potentially reached a local top here in this area whether we come down correctively from where we are right now whether we go first up claim the liquidity here above then tumble down grab the liquidity at the $50,000 level then find momentum back to the upside you can see from a larger time frame perspective the momentum is still to the upside we haven't broken any macro bullish structures yet where you can put a trend connecting all these lows and you can see still higher highs higher highs higher lows higher lows higher highs and so the trend continues right let's zoom into smaller time frames quick here on the smaller time frames and I'm here on the 15 minute you can see I've been tracking this momentum here to the downside we have broken out nice little retest and we reject it here by a weekly level when I go and switch on my weekly levels my daily levels you can see that we tapped that weekly to perfection and now we're getting a little bit of a rejection here to the downside for bullish momentum to continue to the upside I really want to see this as a wave one two three four five impulses to continue to the upside if we are going to come and claim this high over here also considering the bullish CVD that I've just shared with you so for bullish momentum to continue here to the upside you want to see this as a wave one two three finding strength above the weekly level and then perhaps a retest okay for continuation to the upside claiming these highs over here okay but during this momentum here to the upside I will still be keeping an eye on this level for potential swing failure pattern and even this level over here for potential swing failure pattern in confluence more or less with this daily level where this W the bigger WXY that I've just shown you on the larger time frame can still play out where we don't claim the high okay and we start tumbling down from here where we start building another where we have a, a B C and then we have an A B C and another bigger A B C to the downside okay so both the bullish and the bearish scenarios where it's also going to be important 
to observe bullish CVD or bearish CVD against the movements that happen on the way up here. Right, any local bearish CVD could give us that little clue that we need that we're going to find continuation either to the downside or we are building up strength to come and claim this high once again. Right, if you are brand new to trading, you've never traded in your life, please go check out this video that will give you the basic essential tools that you need to start out to become a successful day trader. Until the next one, just for now.